I recently poured this bauble using Floetrol, but I wasn't very happy with the results. So I'm testing a new idea in this video. But before I begin, I wanted to say thank you for visiting my channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the content that you're watching, please like, subscribe, comment, and definitely stick around to the end because I have a surprise for you. So in this project where I've been testing all these different pouring mediums, I actually poured this bauble with Montmartre. A pouring medium so basically it was a pre-mixed uh, pouring acrylic paint and it's held the best shape it's not really lost its definition it's been by far the better pour so that's what I want to do now is I want to basically do a flip cup pour on a bauble and I'm going to use these three colors I'm going to use they're not really Christmassy but this kind of are <laughs> I'm doing a I like this green it's like a magenta, Shiraz is the name, um, a turquoise and gold, my trusty gold. So I'm going to get layer up my little cup and then we can do the flip cup pour and see what it, how it turns out. So I've layered up my cup, looks really pretty. Um, and I'm using an old bauble that I um, poured ages ago, don't particularly like it. So I'm a big believer in recycling. And with the idea behind this one is to do like a flip cup. I'm just wanting to make sure I cover my bauble. And then here we go. Hope I've got enough paint that's going to get all the way into the neck of the bauble. Looks like I have. And it's actually looking very nice already. I like the colors. I like, I like all of it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, and I'm, I'm not like, I'm just going to wait to see that it gets all the way down into the neck. If it does. Give it an opportunity to do its own traveling without me having to sort of Manipulate it and see what happens. But you can see it's actually looking wow. So if this holds its shape, I'd be wrapped. And then we will have our answers to what's the, been the best pouring medium or the, to use for baubles. I can see it hasn't quite got into the neck of the bauble there. I'm just waiting, waiting patiently. to see if it will travel. And it's actually quite nice sort of breaking up a little bit, like creating slight cells. The bottom of the tray just looks lovely. Look at the bottom of the tray. Really pretty. Sometimes I think that's the better part of the pour. So I'll just take it around one more time. And then once it's dried, I shall show you the results. Looking at it, it's definitely come down the bauble all the way into the neck. So that's great. So I've just let the paint actually do its own thing and let it go in, you know, naturally. And it's done that. So I haven't had to touch up the bottom in any way, shape or form. You saw we used about that much in your cup. I still actually have quite a bit left in the cup, so I reckon we could have actually stopped maybe giving it a good, probably, you know, three 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 quarters or was it two thirds? So just, just you know, as an interest sake to save paint. And because it's quite a thick consistency, this paint it doesn't go down the stick as fast. So I've just checked it. And it's definitely traveled into the neck. No problems. So I'm just going to give that bit of paint that's on the stick a wipe. Make sure I don't knock my bauble. Just to kind of slow the paint down a bit. Because I do actually really like that pattern. I think it looks lovely. Take that out. A little bit more is coming down the bauble. 
I'll just try and slow it down again. And then like I say, I'm gonna set it aside and then I'll show you the end results once it's dried. I keep showing you the blue side, but this is actually probably the more interesting side. Actually, maybe that. That's really so nice. So I just wanted to show you the flip cup bauble that we did with the Montmart. And I think you can agree the Montmart definitely works really, really well for baubles. Um, and that's, you know, the pre-mixed Montmart. And it just looks lovely. Like it's turned out to be so pretty. Really like this bauble. Uh, it, you know, it's just, everything's nice about it. So that's what it would look if it was hanging on the tree, you know, from the top. That it's, that's it going all the way around. I did mention a surprise for you. And the surprise is that I have, I actually have a bauble e-course, which is available on Udemy. I'll include the link below. And in that I show you all sorts of different ways to pour, pour your baubles, different, you know, ideas how to set up your workspace, you know, everything. It's a really fun activity to do. And if you, you know, you're looking for different Christmas presents, it's a great one. So I'll include that link below. But yes, so it's the, the Montmartre uh, pre-mixed pouring medium definitely works well on the baubles. So very happy with those results.